pot of gold. In the rolling green hills of the fair Emerald Isle lived a very poor chap called Niall O'Leary. Niall's house was falling about his ears, and his trousers were falling about his ankles, so long it was since he'd had a decent feed. You could have played a ditty on the ribs of Niall's scrawny old horse, if you had a mind to. Now, one fine day, Niall O'Leary set out to look for something to eat. Being an optimistic chap, he hoped for a juicy rabbit, or perhaps even some luscious sweet berries. But, as it usually was with Niall, the rabbits were way too quick, and the birds had beaten him by a country mile of berries. By lunchtime, Niall O'Leary was starting to lose heart. He sat down under a tree to wipe his brow with his handkerchief. And that's when he heard it. Tap, tap, tap. What the blazes could that be? Niall sat very still. He listened hard. Tap, tap, tap. There it was again. Niall peered down into the grass nearby. And what he saw was the tiniest man he'd ever clapped eyes on in all his life, dressed in green from the tip of his toes to the top of his hat, banging away at the sole of one of his tiny shoes. Niall O'Leary rubbed his eyes. A leprechaun. A real live leprechaun. Now, despite being poor, like all Irishmen, Niall knew two very important things about leprechauns. One was that they always had a pot of gold hidden close by, and two, if you caught them and squeezed them very, very hard, they had to tell you where it was. Quietly, Niall eased onto his feet and launched himself through the air. As his giant shadow fell across the grass, the tiny man looked up and took off, and Niall landed with a thud. The leprechaun scampered, and Niall O'Leary scampered right after him. They ran up the hill, they clambered across a river, they ran through a startled farmer's barn, they ducked under a fence, Niall getting closer with every step until, gotcha, his scrawny fingers snapped tight around the leprechaun's waist. Take your hands off me, you great lump. The leprechaun wailed, but Niall O'Leary wouldn't let go. Not till the leprechaun told him where to find his pot of gold. If I could breathe, I could have some chance to be telling you. The leprechaun croaked. He promised that if Niall put him down, he'd reveal his secret. Niall smiled the biggest of smiles because he'd heard one other thing about leprechauns, and that was that they could never break their promises. So, ever so slowly, he lowered the tiny, indignant man to the ground. After the leprechaun straightened his clothes, he took a few steps to the left and pointed to the ground at the base of a shrub. It's right there, but it's buried very deep. You'll not find it without a spade. Niall O'Leary had no spade. He hadn't set out this morning with digging in mind. He looked left and right. The whole field was filled with identical shrubs. If he went home to fetch a spade, how would he ever find this particular shrub again? Why not tie your handkerchief around the shrub so you remember where it is when you get back? Niall O'Leary scowled, suspecting a trick. But the leprechaun raised his hand in all innocence. I'll not move your kerchief, I promise. And you know we leprechauns can't break a promise. And so it was that Niall O'Leary bounded home, his head full of all the things he'd do with his pot of gold. New clothes, new house, the biggest party the village had ever seen. By the time he puffed his way back, he knew exactly how he'd spend every last golden coin. As he got to the top of the hill, he saw his red handkerchief fluttering in the breeze. He laughed with glee. <laughs> the treasure would soon be his, or would it? Nearby, he saw another red handkerchief tied around another shrub. Then another, and another. The whole field was filled with fluttering red handkerchiefs tied around every shrub in sight. Niall's face fell in despair. And then across the breeze, he heard the wicked laughter <laughs> of a cheeky and very clever leprechaun <laughs> running away into the distance. <laughs> to be sure, leprechauns are very tricky little people, but they're not entirely without heart, because even though Niall O'Leary didn't get his pot of gold, he did come to set up the biggest and best handkerchief store in the whole of Ireland. Ha 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 ha!